Uh, yeah, creative process. Man, one good weekend, I decided, you know what, I'm taking uh, Andrew and the Beat and mm -hmm. uh, Paige to the mm -hmm. coast. Mm -hmm. uh, and then we decided to dismantle the, the cinema and turn it into a studio. In the building today, uh, none other than Leatherman and New Turn. Uh, we're here to talk about new music, new projects, new everything at Pamoja Records. First things first, good morning. Good morning, Mr. Scripto. How are you doing, sir? Now we're blessed, we're blessed, we're here, we're yeah. good. You know, coming off of a, 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 a very good show yeah. that, you, that you, you hosted us quite well, quite nice, if Thank I do you. say so myself. Thank you very much. Um, yeah, man, where do we start? Let's, let's, let's talk about the, the, the single, yeah. Danisa. Yeah. Um, talk to me about the, the creative process, you know, working, working with Paige on the song and then the visuals that were just out of this world. Yeah. Uh, so basically, uh, thank you very much for welcoming us on the show. Uh, as you earlier stated, I'm here with a uh, Pamoja Queen, mm -hmm. uh, Nuran, and of course my PA in the background that everybody don't see. Mm -hmm. uh, minus, uh, yeah, creative process. Man, one good weekend, I decided, you know what, I'm taking uh, Andrew and the Beat and mm -hmm. uh, Paige to the mm -hmm. coast. Mm -hmm. uh, and then we decided to dismantle the, the cinema and turn it into a studio. And, you know, I didn't want Rush Rush pro, uh, project. You know, mm. sometimes with us artists, we say, okay, let's go in the studio. Yeah, mm. let's do it now, now, now. Yeah, yeah. And then when you're having, you're, 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 you've got an entourage with you, they'll tell you it's a hit when it's not a yeah. hit. <laughs> you understand? Because they're the only way, because they don't want to make you feel bad. You understand? Yeah, yeah. So I didn't want that. Do you get what I'm saying? Mm. So I, it was just the three of us, basically, and, and we went, and uh, you know what? I told, um, I, I had some precedent songs yeah. that I wanted. Yeah. Okay, so... Uh, first and foremost, I wanted an Afro beat and I wanted up tempo song, mm. and um, I gave some uh, samples to 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 to, to the producer, mm -hmm. and he I promise you on the first try he executed completely. Mm -hmm. I didn't even have to go say give me another beat, another beat. Yeah, the first beat, the was first Danisa. one, <laughs> Danisa, the beat, that beat. Uh. He was he he had it. I just told him I wanted something like this, and he did something. He did some magic, and after that. The song kept on looping in the house as we were mm. just doing our breakfast stuff yeah. and just doing it. It was just looping, looping yeah. the whole time around the house. And we're just jamming, 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 jamming. And then uh, Paige decided to jump on, on the on the on the hook, mm. you know. Then we just left the song there. After that I went in. Ooh, mm. the done is a, yeah, yeah. We went, we continued doing our thing. Yeah. And then we started now uh, uh, basically formulating everything on the song, putting everything together. Yeah. And now yeah, the song was completed um, in Pomojo Records studio, of course. Yeah, yeah. And after that was done, I was like, you know what? I want to do something crazy here with the visuals. I want to do sets. Mm. And who's best to, to do this? You know, I haven't worked with Reggie before, but we are both architects and I know we're yeah. both creative. So I told him, you know what? I want to do this thing. I, wanna, I want people to see the Leatherman. This mm. is the Leatherman now mm. because... I've been doing uh, storylines in the songs mm. and so forth, and it takes away, I feel it takes away from the artist's mm. expressions. From the fun as well. And then the fun as well. So yeah. you, that's why you see the transition in the song, you can see people can now interact with me, yeah. and they see, oh, this is what this guy's all about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right? And uh, basically, I gave the guys, you know, the date of the launch was already set. Yeah. And the video was not shot. Hey! <laughs> They are working on the clock. So now. we had to retrofit everything inside there, you know. And um, um, I'm very, very grateful to have worked with RFC team because yeah. these guys, as, as young as they are, mm -hmm. completely professional. Mm. And they knew that they understood the, the assignment, as they say mm -hmm. nowadays. Mm -hmm. Yeah, understood the assignment. Yeah, so Reggie was there. He said, okay, we need this, we need this set, we need to do, uh, customize this and so forth and uh, get the, the, you know, the cameos and so forth, you know. Mm -hmm. the, the people are supposed to to dress the set mm -hmm. and the nice thing about shooting this music video it was stress free for me because all i all i all i did i just had to rock up and i had my call sheet mm -hmm. knew what location what time i had to be and then just do my thing no basically. delays nothing. no delays nothing i promise you i felt like i was uh, shooting i was on an american set man <laughs> everything was just proper yeah. yeah that's what's up bro and that's and that's the thing man when 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 two professional worlds collide and i think also just just the understanding of the professional uh, and and the professional side and the business side the fact that reggie's an architect you're an architect yes. as well there's there's a we understand timelines you understand timelines yeah because that's that's our profession you mm. understand if you get a deadline you have to make sure and, and we are very good at working under pressure mm. so and and when i say change this also especially on post-production mm -hmm. um they did a first draft and a second draft Mm -hmm. Okay, of which I said, please, guys, I need, I need this change, and that's the beauty of working with RFC because mm -hmm. 
they understand you as a client. Mm. So they know what you want and it makes me happy. Mm. It, they, they made me happy, man. One hundred percent. Yeah, I'm very happy with that. And we are happy with the visuals. Really. <laughs> we are happy with the visuals too. Just just a quick question. What are do you do you see any parallels between being an architect and being a musician? Are there any things that are that are similar? Yes, um, definitely. I mean, it's, 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 it's all about starting with precedence, like I said. Mm. In architecture, you've got, if I'm to design a house for you, mm -hmm. I'll sit down with you as, 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 as a client, right? Mm -hmm. But now, at this point, I'll sit myself down as a client, mm. okay? So, meaning, I'll say, okay, what, what, what do I want? Like I, uh, earlier I explained, mm -hmm. okay, I go through my precedence. Mm -hmm. Precedence is similar music that I want to listen to. Mm. So, I'll probably say, okay, I'll listen to Shaggy's song, mm. or I'll listen to Tio Savage or Peace square mm. and align the probably five of them, mm. okay? And then, in architecture, I'll probably have precedence as well of houses that were done by other architects as well, mm. like, we, we called inspirations. Mm. So, from there, you take it, you build from there, mm. okay? So, once you have that, and then you formulate a, a concept, mm -hmm. Once that concept is done, and then it becomes a you, cre you create a body, and then that's how you formulate everything. Mm -hmm. So they are parallels, definitely. So the creative process is very similar. Yeah, I mean it's art. I'm an artist. It's just that I'm, yeah. this time I'm singing. But yeah, the other side I'm drawing. I'm drawing, but it's still the same thing. It's, it still form, form, forms under um, art. Yeah, the two worlds. The two worlds come together beautifully. Yeah, it's just that the other one is softer than the other one. Yeah. yeah. No, I remember. The, let it be known, man. The first time I pulled up at Toivo, man, you, it, it's like hey, that building. Yeah. You can come to the studio, yeah. you can come get your, your crib designed, you yeah. can... Yeah. Yeah. But there's just... You, you're, you're a jack of all trades, man. Yeah. And, you're, you, and you're really mastering all of them, and, and, yeah. and it's beautiful to see. Thank but let's, let's bring it to Pamoja. We got the Pamoja, Pamoja's queen in the building. Pamoja queen in the building. <laughs> new, What's up? new turn is here. New, uh. let's, let's talk about it. Yeah, how, how, is, how has it been so far, you know, being, being Pamoja, and, and what can we expect? Um, all right, yeah. First of all, um, being Pamoja to me uh, really does mean a lot because not only are we uh, working partners, but we are family, you mm -hmm. understand? And this is how we are doing this business. Mm -hmm. No pressure, no nothing. This is just us doing our thing and trying to take things to another level. Mm -hmm. So it is quite a, a good journey, if mm -hmm. I should say, and I'm looking forward to a whole lot of things that we are planning on uh, getting on because we have plans mm -hmm. and I just hope we are able to put our plans and everything in the picture. Yeah, mm -hmm. 100%. We can't wait for the new the new music. Leatherman, new music dropping soon, Pamoja Records. Because I know he just gave us Danny and we are still consuming her. Huh? We are no. still eating it up. We are still bro, digesting. Bro, bro, bro. You know, when they say two heads work, uh, work better than one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, I feel, I think she's the softer part of Pamoja now. And, mm. and uh, <laughs> You know, uh, it's, it's like having a lady in the house. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. know when you're a bachelor, bachelor, yeah, and you bring a woman, yeah, it's enough. they at least put, you know, uh, nice, yeah. you know, you don't find carpets. Mm -hmm. in the bachelor. You, then she'll put like carpets. So mm. she's a softer part of, of, of Pomodoro Records, I would say, mm -hmm. and extremely talented. Mm -hmm. And we can't wait to release a new, new, new music. Yeah. Uh, I mean, uh, just this weekend, we had a, a nice activation. Uh, uh, we had a, a Danisa lifestyle party at the gardens, mm -hmm. which went extremely well. She did her thing there mm -hmm. also. The, the crowd yeah. loved it. Yeah. And guess what? Well, we are having another tour in uh, to the north. We'll be flying out uh, on Friday, okay. And we'll be doing La Cabrera and Antonio's in uh, in, in the north. So it's gonna be crazy, man. We've, we've, we've started already, and it's not gonna stop. I can, yeah, yeah. I can guarantee you now. Your December is starting early, yeah. December has started, yeah. Also, hey, mm -hmm. um, for now, because we're now concentrating on Danisa, mm -hmm. because I can't release anything anytime soon, but mm -hmm. of course, now we need to give the attention to Danisa mm -hmm. because I mean, we also need to give a chance to mm -hmm. other people to shine 100%. I mean, you know, 100%. But as soon as we kick off, man, we're gone. And and the, the beauty of that is we are here to celebrate Danny Sa today as well. Now, before we get into the song, uh, just just some final final remarks, uh, um, Leatherman, just about about you know Pamoja Records. Maybe your your advice to to the young ones in the game in terms of of pushing internationally because you've done it successfully. Uh, maybe just some advice, word of advice, and where people should focus their energy right now when it comes to Pamoja. I would say. Uh have a roadmap. Mm -hmm. Without any plan, you'll be circling in circles. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Follow through, block the noise, forget about what other people will say, uh, forget about naysayers. Mm -hmm. I mean, at the end of the day, their opinion will stay with them. So mm -hmm. it doesn't get to you, it's, it's pointless. Do you yeah. understand? So don't forget about uh, a, a block. The, and that's what derails most of people. Do you understand? They concentrate on the negative <laughs> instead mm -hmm. of their positive. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? <laughs> 
you know, uh, I mean, starting my journey a few years back, you know, it will be a lot of critics, you know, mm -hmm. yeah, this guy, I mean, you already have, you already made it, you've got the money, why would mm. you want to do that? But I mean, you must understand, when somebody breaks out into something like music, mm. it's passion, mm. do you understand? Mm. And for me, I'm willing to follow it through, do you understand? Mm. I don't really care what anybody says, mm -hmm. I have, I stay in my lane and do my thing, do you understand? Mm -hmm. Just have fun while, and, and making money from it, mm -hmm. as, uh, as, as a matter of fact, mm -hmm. you know what? And also, I just want to give a shout out to the team that work with me, um, the RFC team, of course, mm -hmm. um, the MNZ, MNZ group, mm -hmm. uh, Glam for the for the launch mm -hmm. of which we were also part. Yeah, over one hundred percent. The performance there was 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 crazy, man. The, yeah. the, and, and 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 everybody else, man. And and um, Andrew on the beat, mm -hmm. uh, and of course Paige, yeah. the man of the moment. Oh, one hundred percent. Yeah, man. yeah, yeah. My crew, of course, Pombojo Records crew. I mean, without them, mm -hmm. uh, really, you know, you can never do. You must understand that you can never pull off something like that alone. Mm -hmm. You always have people in the background. I had my my team, as you can see them here, yeah. are in the background running uh, around for, for everything, you know. Yeah. So those are the, the stress people that make it possible for yeah. you guys to be able to make sure that you got proper sound, yeah. proper stage and all that, you know. But yeah, we're looking for greater things and we just want to have fun and, and we don't want to do things small anymore. But mm -hmm. we're concentrating on ourselves, mm -hmm. in our own right, in our own journey, in our own circle, mm -hmm. and then just to, 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 to do good music and have fun. And have now, fun. once you concentrate on yourself in that way, other people will, will get the energy yeah. and then it will just blow. Yeah. That's, that's, that's the model. 100 percent man. And this this is a, a, a game changing song because it's a it's a song. If you, you hear the quality, man, this is a song for the world, but by Namibians, for Namibians as well. Uh, and and this is a song I think needs to be celebrated today. Right now, we're about to get into Danisa. This is Leathermane yes. and Paige. Thank you for coming through Game Changers of the Day. Pamoja Records. Pamoja mm -hmm. Records, baby. One time. Mm -hmm. Thank you. This is Danny Sa. And uh, wherever you are, if you're in the office, ne, don't worry what your boss says. Just get up okay, and get Okay, maybe the handles. Uh, yes, you can please. Just, uh, check me out on uh, Instagram um, or Leatherman, Lender underscore main, uh, uh, Twitter mm -hmm. and Facebook. And also check out Newton as well mm -hmm. on, on uh, Instagram. And follow her because you want to follow her because once she starts dropping, mm. you already know what time it is. It's a mess. It's, it's gonna be crazy. It's crazy. But Mojo Regas in the building, baby. One time. Game changer. Leather May. Leather May. Leather May.